Right, so we have made it to Funchal City Center. Very nice to be here. You can see behind us, we've got the cathedral, we've got the market, and then the cable cars, which I've been wanting to do, all in this direction right here. Makes it easy, we can come back here. Was it Medieval Shopping or something like that? It says on the sign here, if you want to come back for things like um, the bus in an hour. Uh, there's a nice little park over that way too. Maybe I'll even go take a look at that one. Uh, give you the perspective from here. So yes, it is optional to catch the bus back if you like or you can, um, what do you call it? Or you can just not, you can skip it since we still have plenty of time afterwards. I think we have to be back on the boat by 4.30 or so. Uh, so a nice little uh, park over there. Looks like they got some Christmas decor up. Somewhere around this way, cathedral, uh, church, no, we already said that, market, and the cable cars. My first stop will be this park, because why not? Uh, again, the bus takes us back at 11.45. And you could grab lunch afterwards, actually, that's a thought. Um, but I think we're at the port till like 4, 4.30. So we shall see. Here is your Christmas decorations in the park. We'll see what kind of time we're at once we're doing these activities. I figure out if we'll make the bus back. Um, we can always catch the bus back and then walk back out here later. Since it's also close enough. Uh, and here's some statues. Simon Bolivar. The Christmas decor. I'm sure it wouldn't be here if Christmas weren't fast approaching for us. It's really, really nice. Oh, could get some photos in there too. As we enjoy it. LOL, getting some fun photos of myself. I'm trying to catch some selfies with some of these frames and such. A nice little snowman right there. It's cool. Oh, stuck my uh, my head in the little reindeer back that way. But, uh, you know, it's tricky. <laughs> Got to get, get a good selfie like that. So, certainly nice to see this park. And again, holiday decor. Like right here, snowman and all that. That's amazing. Enjoy that. Thanks for the holiday decor, and we'll continue our way to the cathedral next stop. And I've got to say, what a beautiful climate for Christmas here. I mean, it's uh, it's t-shirt weather for me. At least right now it is. Maybe I'd put a jacket on if it were a little chillier, but right now I'm pretty comfy. There's your Madeira Island's uh, Christmas signage. I think there's a market out here somewhere too. Uh, oh, actually, let's cross this way, see what that side's about. Uh, because you have the Mercato de Natal. It's the uh, Christmas markets, right? That's perfect. I always love to catch some Christmas markets. You can see what they look like out here. Wow, that's fun. Nice. So they sell the big bottle of the liqueur for 12 bucks, which I'm thinking about. 12 euro, excuse me. And my little chocolate shot here uh, with the sour cherry inside. It was a buck, <laughs> buck 25. It's like, you know what, Christmas markets. Let's try something, right? So here we are. Cheers. Mm. And that sour cherry liqueur is like one of my favorites. Honestly, really, really enjoy it. In, in Portugal. Or in Lisbon, excuse me. So I figured out, oh, still Portugal. May as well try it here. Mm. And it is still very nice indeed. I might get that bottle, honestly. <laughs> but what happens when I try to take it on the cruise ship? I'm not sure. Oh, you guys. Variety of poncho stands here. Uh, nice little, oh, Banco, Portugal. Check that out. There you go. You got your uh, sculpture here in the city town. Banco de Portugal, right there. And <laughs> I'm like, why not, right? When in Portugal, it's cheap. I mean, it's not a huge drink, which is probably for the best. <laughs> but, I mean, is a shot going to cost you less than a buck? Or less than two bucks in the U.S.? I don't think so. I don't think so. So, And again, Sour Cherry is a winner. I'm thinking about the model, what I would do with it. Transporting it, I think it would probably just be too tricky. But maybe we can find them in the U.S. somewhere. It's a nice value, though. It really is. Almost to the cathedral now, I believe. Just around that way. So that'll be nice. All right. In addition to those Christmas markets we walked through, you've got, I think, a nativity scene here. Yes, a nativity scene. Would you look at that? Wow. I mean, it's so nice. Again, the holidays, you know, everyone's in the spirit. Christmas spirit going on. I love to see it here. Uh, it's a little busy around here, but... Uh, but not too crazy again, because uh, the deer is nice and quiet. So, that by get some photos. And the first of our three main stops here, Cathedral de Funchal. So Funchal is this part of the island of the island of Madeira. We're gonna take a look inside. It's probably the usual quiet inside, as is the way in churches. At least as is the way I usually go in churches. So, take a quick peek, see what you think.
amazing to see that cathedral we just left back there. Really, really enjoyed. Beautiful architecture in that one. Certainly have to appreciate the attention to details, sculptures, and the monuments to different saints that's actually here. It's a little busier on some of these streets, just trying to weave by people. That's all right. I think we've seen, uh, now that I think about it, the cathedral and the market. So we just want to hit that cable car. That's my big thing on the list here. Uh, so we might make it back for that bus. We shall see. But I'm going to go catch it. There's a little tuk-tuk going on over there. People maybe getting their private tour from a cruise ship or otherwise. Because tourism is the big thing here. Now, um, what was I saying? Uh, homelessness. There does seem like there's a few homelessness going on here on some of these streets. But I guess that is just a way of life, as you know. There's some water flowing down this way. And there is a nice grass sculpture up that way, too. And I've looked for cool sites along the way, so I think we have Casa de Velha. Oh, look at this ice cream. That looks nice. Along the way that we'll stop by. Should be pretty close to the cable car. This does certainly feel like Portugal to me with these almost cobblestone-style streets, right? It's those sorts of things to me that say Portugal. It's like classic, which is nice. There's lots to like. And of course, affordable <laughs> uh, as we make our way to the cable car. That being said, I think it's uh, affordable, like food and things like that. But the housing is more expensive, especially for them. So I think that's what leads to some of the challenges. Uh, and incomes are lower, places like this too. So it's the balance, you know? Okay, so here you have the Mercado de Labradores. So if you're looking for the Labrador dog market, I'm just kidding. It's right here. Uh, heading towards the water now, see if we can uh, get to that uh, the site, the castle sort of thing, and then the uh, cable car. Right, so the stuff we found along the way is Zona Velha. Seems like the tourist guide is just telling them all about it. I'm just gonna walk down. It doesn't look like amazing. Oh, it's in Deutsch, this is good. But uh, our, our tour wasn't in. There was only French and English, so didn't have any fun in Spanish or German. But uh, we've got some cool wall art, this little side street here. Uh, it's nice to see as we make our way down to the uh, cable car. So it's Zona Velha, not, uh, not a castle, although it looked like a landmark sort of icon on Google Maps. It's more about cobblestone streets and artwork and such. Here, it's like a classic street, I think. And we have made it to the cable car station. It'll be nice to see they have a restroom for me here, and then we'll catch it. But they have a little market out here as well. Esplanada Teleferico. That's the uh, name of the cable cars, in case you're looking for it back there. And mark it along the way. Let's do it. Take a look at the station while I'm in line to wait here. Uh, I think I might not make the bus back. We'll see uh, as we make our way onwards into the uh, ticket station. We'll see. Uh, what it looks like in person. It seems like the same price as online, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, right. We have moved through the line decently quickly here. See the cable cars loading up with people. I'm imagining they'll probably put us in a group, but we'll see what happens.
and we have made it to the top of a cable car station. Super cool to see, nice and fun. They got pictures on uh, the took of us, which is nice. And the views from above, really, really cool to see. Looking forward to riding it back down. All right, and here you are looking into the cable car station here. You have got the, um, the gondolas coming up, which is cool. And you've got the ships down there. Lots of people just enjoying the viewpoint from above. Now there was an option for a one-way ride. Uh, it was like 12.50 versus the round trip is 18. Um, but I figured why not round trip? You don't have to worry about walking the extra half of the way. And I think we can uh, quickly uh, explore a bit up here before we make our way back down. This little shop up this way. Yeah, nice views all around. I think people will stopping up here just for the photos. Um, but they got a palace maybe or something they're selling tickets for here too. Here's the side angle. The car's going up and down here. You can see, um, yeah, cable cars moving. It's quite a journey. Uh, well, we were on there for quite a while, I will say. Um, a few other people on there, including, you know, baby who wasn't having the best time, but that's okay. We got the nice view of the ocean now here as well. And we're still able to appreciate the sights all the way up. I don't think it's like the most notable ever cable car ride, but I'm certainly glad I had a chance to do it. So on my short list. And you have got the views up there. But you do have to say, and do have to give them credit, they are doing a lot of like photos and they're doing it kind of high tech too. So taking a photo of you along the trip and then sending it to the end, sometimes printing it out like the toboggan ride. They had to print it out. Oh, take a look, $10 only. Uh, here I saw it for a second, but she quickly pulled it away because I was also videoing. Um, but then didn't really show me afterwards when I stopped to take a look. Um, that's all right. Probably could have asked, but I'm like, you know what? That's fine. That's, <laughs> that's where we're at. That's fine. Um, but again, certainly appreciate the beautiful sights out here. It's a beautiful place for tourism. And certainly I could see myself even just coming to visit here uh, for tourism purposes because it's a beautiful uh, island, beautiful uh, little, oh, it's country, beautiful country, but also a beautiful, I want to call it a state of, of the uh, country, but it's an island of the country. So discovered this Monte Palace here as a, a tropical garden. It's cool. So they got tickets for almost like their botanical garden sort of thing. See some pictures in there. Beyond that, though, I don't think there's a whole lot else up here. Maybe we can walk around for a bit or two, um, see if there's anything else. And it, again, it does seem like I'll miss the bus, unfortunately, which is why I'm like, well, it's well browse. Whoa, check that out, too. They got the car full of wicker baskets. That's super funny. Oh, I guess that's how they get them back up. Oh, that's clever. So maybe you have the toboggan riding just over here. Take a quick peek this way uh, and then catch the cable car down. Again, because I'm not really in a rush because I'm missing my uh, bus back. And I'll get food probably later, probably on the ship. But I'm thinking about what lies ahead. One possibility, if I feel up to it later, is I can walk to the Cristiano Ronaldo Museum and hotel and those kinds of things. Might be cool to see. Um, but again, for now, just exploring up here before we catch our ride back down. I will say, it's funny to have to squeeze into the side of the roads here too, while these cars come through, whether it's trucks or taxis or whatever else. Um, and here's a tropical garden, it looks like. Looks like it is 12.50 for the garden. So uh, that's 12.50 euros. So it's like 13 something bucks. Google's actually pretty good on that. I gotta give them some credit. They're like, oh yeah, 13.62. I'm like, right now that's probably pretty close to accurate in US dollars. But again, I'm trying not to over overdo it because, um, because we have a few more stops ahead, including the one I'm most excited for tomorrow. So I wanna make sure I have energy for it, rested, enjoying a bit of Madeira today before we sail to that destination tomorrow. And um, it's been such a long trip too, so I don't want to overdo it. But nice to see that this is up here. I'd probably, if I were staying in town, I'd probably make this one happen so I can spend a good bit of time in it. Um, but considering energy currently, not wanting to overextend, as well as limited time, I think probably skip this one for now. But a little sneak preview through the gates if you wanted to see it. Oh, and it's themed for the holidays too, which is nice. Again, you gotta give them some credit. Lots of holiday Christmas theming here which I always enjoy in most places. Down this way, also, a uh, looks like a little restaurant here, which is nice, you can grab a drink, look out at the view, which maybe I should do, just soak in the view a bit here, a little bit more, uh, and also this little walk down. Uh, so let me, let me take a peek at least at the restaurant, I'm, although probably don't need any more drinks. So it is called Land Food and Coffee down here. We'll take a peek, see their menu, and here is their view, which is probably a huge appeal <laughs> for the restaurant. Take a look at the restaurant here. You can see they've got some pastries. Interesting, sitting out like that too, some of them. And coffee and beer, it seems like. That's nice to see. 
I am also appreciating what looks like the tree bark kind of looking thing uh, above. Really, really interesting for the um, decorations. So maybe I'll take a seat, take a look at the menu and see what sounds good. Taking a quick seat and a quick peek at their menu here. Uh, you do have some options, including Irish coffee, although I always love that. Again, I'm not sure I should. So we'll see what sounds good. Although, honestly, they could probably convince me to do like a Madeira wine or something. We'll see. See what happens. Again, you have to appreciate how the prices compare for some things. Okay, maybe the food. Some of it's uh, reasonably more expensive or more expensive for here. And some of it's <laughs> quite reasonable. Well, although I, I guess table service restaurant, though, even though it's just a sandwich. Uh, and uh, cakes and stuff, too. Pretty reasonable for desserts. So all kinds of stuff looks very reasonable. Uh, but it's, again, nice to see the view. All right. And you can see right above us the um, cable cars here going just overhead, which is pretty crazy, actually. Realize we're just beneath the restaurant. Uh, so are just beneath the cable car, so that's nice. All right, so we discovered all of the stuff is pretty much Portuguese, but um, they don't have like Madeira wine or Madeira beer. So we're trying a sweeter rosé, it seems like. Uh, Roseo or something like that. So we'll give it a shot. May as well enjoy a glass while we look out at the cable cars and just appreciate a beautiful day and a beautiful life. All right, I have sat in all three of these seats now. I think I'll probably go for this one. <laughs> trying to get the best view. That's what it's all about, right? But here is our glass of wine with our MSC <laughs> backpack right there. Actually, nice sight. Uh, yeah, nice little glass of wine. We'll give it a shot for four, 450 euro. Why not? Doesn't seem too, too crazy. Uh, yeah, beautiful place. And the wine is okay. You know, the view is nice, uh, but it's certainly not as sweet as some Madeira wine I've had, which I like. I like sweet. Uh, views are really, views are really nice, but wine's okay. Nice to try new things, and may as well sit back, relax, enjoy some time here in uh, Madeira. What a beautiful place, though. I'm really glad I can sit back for a bit, relax, give myself a break, appreciate this whole beautiful trip, appreciate this beautiful place. I have the opportunity to do it. Thanks for being a part of it with me. And one more moment I wanted to catch and share with you is this car ascends uh, and enters the station and as the other one leaves the station right there. It's just so nice to see it operating here. It seems like a good chunk of the day at least. Tourism being the biggest part of their economy out here. Beautiful, beautiful place to visit. Great place to sit back, relax, enjoy a beverage and enjoy the view indeed. And I switched sides here just to enjoy some more of the other views and get tan on the other side before I make my way today. But nice, again, really nice to sit back, have this relaxing experience. I think that's the way to go sometimes. Just take a break, you know? I found out they have Madeira wine here, so you can see another uh, another drink. <laughs> Thought I was done drinking, but you know what? Why not? With the view as well. Cheers. Slauncha. All right, Madeira wine, much more what I was looking for, I will say. Uh, look at those cable cars behind us, I love that. Chatted with a friendly group, there was no other spaces, so they sat with me for a bit. Um, but yes, this, this is the way to go. You know, Rosé was was okay. I mean, I wouldn't get it again. But uh, this, this indeed I would, so that's nice. All right, y'all, I have had far too many beverages here. Uh, you can see my little tail there from my wallet. Keeping it safe, though. <laughs> too much fun. The dear wine's the winner, always. Rosé was like, eh, I wouldn't get it again. Madeira wine absolutely would. I'm going to go ahead and catch the cable car. Back down to the port. I am blasted. I am shwasted. I'm schmacked. For eight bucks here, so you gotta give them some credit. Affordability in Portugal. In Madeira. Beautiful place. Very friendly. Sat down with some English people. They were like, hey, do you have space? I'm like, yeah, go ahead. They joined me. We chatted for a bit. Super nice. And... Now I'll head back down, probably back to the ship. Maybe I'll stop by some gift shops, see if I can pick up anything nice. But uh, if nothing's nice, it's time for lunch. I'm overdue for food, even though I've had some fun. A schmacked is the proper term, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe not. Let's get back on board. Now
All right, y'all, walking back toward the ship now. What a fun day. So, so enjoyed the cable cars. So, so enjoyed sitting down, chatting with people up top, having a glass of wine, and enjoyed that excursion as well. So really, really glad we had a chance to enjoy it all. We'll see if we walk through some shopping centers on the way back, and we'll get some food on board in just a minute. Gosh, and look at that MSC cruise ship out there. Wonder who came in on that ship and what their experience has been like. Just kidding. <laughs> I know people. I know people who came in on that ship. Because I know people. I know people who do things. And those things are totally perfect. They're totally perfect things. They've been doing those things for such a long time. I've been doing those things longer than anybody who does those things. And it's totally perfect. This is an interesting statue as well. This woman kind of looking out at the water, kind of blocking the water. I don't know, is that what she's doing? She's saying, waves, stay back. Don't come over here too much. Keeping Madeira safe from the waves, making sure land remains an island. Yeah, I guess so. That being said, tomorrow's volcanic island. I'm not sure if this one is. It might just be a forest, which is really, again, a beautiful place. I will say one note, my friends told me they took a yellow bus and this pretty much appears to be a yellow bus right here. And they were like, oh yeah, we paid that much for two people when I paid for one. But again, then I get the toboggan. I don't know if they got the toboggan. I get uh, the group, you know, I get the facilitation. Now I'm on my own. <laughs> so, depends, depends what you like, but just something to note. There is more of the town. I think I'm just going to take the waterfront walk on the way back. Uh, although we'll see if I come across any shops on the way. Interesting to see they've got what looks like a little park over here. A little theme park type area. So if you want to do some uh, sightseeing, apparently in 9D in this Nova experience. That's, uh, that's unique indeed. Super funny, while well, we're standing here at the bus stop, some cars just turned onto the sidewalk in front of us. Now we can cross. <laughs> we had to move out of the way in the sidewalk because they just drove up onto the road as we cross. Look at this beautiful view as well from, I almost said Tenerife, that's tomorrow. Today is a Funchal, Madeira. Take a look at this beautiful view from Madeira. That sign right in front of the cruise ship, that's fun. It says Madeira in like, uh, I don't know, plasticky art in front of the ship. I'm thinking about going over there for a photo. Maybe I don't need it because now I'm on this side seeing if I walk by any shops, you know. If I walk by any shops where I might find some nice souvenirs, merchandise, or otherwise. It just so happened the light turned green as I was walking by. So I'm gonna get some photos with my data. And I'll get some photos with the Christmas tree in the background. Why not? It's funny because I see people from the Madeira sightseeing bus, Portugal taking photos as well. So, I'm glad I stopped to take some photos here too. I guess they could also stop. Get off the bus here and take some photos. Christmas tree there as well. Really nice to see. One of the things to love about Portugal, I feel really safe walking around on my own with the phone out taking videos. So, that's me personally, they each their own, but that's something I appreciate indeed. Take a look down this way. You've got this beautiful viewpoint looking out at the cruise ship. So may as well take a stop and take advantage some photos, sacar fotos, if you will, and uh, enjoy the beautiful view. So I'll get my photos from right here. You love it. Uh, nice view of the cruise ship with this blue kind of tunnel going on right here. And it's nice to see. I'm not sure if it's just uh, intended for cruisers. Probably is, because it's all about the tourist destination, right? Uh, it says, Boas Festas, Happy Holidays, here on this little tunnel. So. This might actually be exclusive for the holidays. You gotta take advantage of that, especially in that case. So I'm gonna get down there, take those photos for the Boas Festas, and then I'll make my way back on board and obrigado to Madeira. So here we are, just took our photos with this sculpture right here, the woman with the nice beads. We have over there the MSC and the Cunard. I discovered it is indeed Cunard. Queen Anne, I believe, if I recall, with those people were telling me over drinks at the pub, at the bar, nice British people. We can get our photos from here, enjoy the sights of the ship from a distance on land, and then we'll make our way back on board. It's gonna be really, really nice. 
nice. Always love Madeira and Fachal. And there is the opposite side of that sculpture. As we look out at the water, the MSC vessel and the Cunard vessel, you can see that uh, woman with the wings. Well, again, I'm not sure what it's about, but it's nice to see as we make our way backwards, onwards. So I just saw some city sightseeing lined up behind me, and here's that yellow bus that she was telling me about. Maybe something to consider in the future. That being said, they do have city sightseeing as well in uh, Madeira, and they're usually decent as well. So something to think about as well, in case you want to do that sometime. There are plenty of peninsulas on the way for people to sit back, relax, enjoy, drink. The beautiful view of the pier, as we walk back to the pier, only makes sense, doesn't it? And we got the views of the beautiful buildings and such behind us. Uh, oh, there's this bar right there. You can even stop by this bar. If you wanted to check that out, why the heck not, right? But uh, nice to see the walk. It's hard to believe it's already 2.30 here in uh, in uh, Funchal, in Madeira. To which I say, uh, to Dubai, how are you? And obrigado, thank you, obrigado. Uh, but really, really uh, beautiful day. Certainly enjoyed the place. Glad we had a chance to check it out. And uh, yeah, <laughs> always love Funchal and Madeira. It's be really a beautiful place. Here's your view externally of the MSC ship. And you are Cunard ship out there. Nice to see them sitting out at the dock. About a 20 minute walk still, I believe. So we'll get there, but I'm not sure we got time for anything else. So. We'll grab some little super late lunch at this point. We took too long and now we've turned our uh, late lunch into a dunch, perhaps. Or an early dinner. <laughs> Check out that kayak there too. That's one person kayaking into the port. We've got some Christmas style decorations ahead as we walk our way back. Now approaching Christmas decorations. And you can never have enough, am I right? You gotta get that Christmas decoration indeed. I like to give myself a little halo with the Christmas decorations. And there you have it. Always nice to see these. And it's large. Nice and large to get your pictures with it. You can see I'm passing by it. And it's uh, substantial. And there are plenty of these to pass along the way. People getting their photos with them as well. Further down, I can see. See, our 7 Museum up here is probably a museum for Cristiano, Cristiano Ronaldo. He's probably number seven, if I'm being honest. Maybe we'll take a quick peek in. If it's uh, like an open thing, or like a shop, maybe if there's a shop component, or we'll move on. But again, always enjoy. Uh, I almost called it Puerto Rico. <laughs> always enjoy uh, Portugal. And uh, enjoy Madeira and Fanchon. Beautiful, beautiful island they got out here. Gotta give them some real credit. I'm gonna take a quick peek in the shop on the way. Oh, and there's the statue of Cristiano Ronaldo. The sign here says Melhador, Melhor, Jugador do Mundo. Best player in the world. I don't know. I'm not a, a basketball guy. Um, <laughs> basketball, soccer. Um, so I'll let them. I'll let them say that for now. But uh, there you go. See our sub museum. There's the info bottom of the statue. You can see it's worn down in certain places, like his hands. Nice. It does seem like the museum begins right when you step inside. I don't necessarily have time for it today, but I'm really glad I caught the sculpture. That was new for me. Last time I was here, I did not get a chance to see any of this Cristiano Ronaldo stuff. He's got some nice wall art here behind me as well. As you can see, ambition, fascio, all kinds of things like that. Uh, they certainly appreciate their Cristiano Ronaldo out here in Madeira, because he's from here. In case you weren't sure, not just Portugal, but Madeira. And this is all as we close in on the ships, in case you were wondering. The Davina and the Cunard. So we walk around toward them. Oh, wow, look at that sculpture of a piranha right here. And I wonder if this is that hotel, Tambien. I think it probably is, Cristiano Ronaldo Hotel, right on the port. I'm not sure, but there are people sitting on balconies in the dock, so I have to imagine so. I'm not sure what to make of this fish, but it's here. And that is a thing. That is a thing, Miss Y'all Fish. Molto bene. Obrigado. Thanks for being a fish. Making our way.
around. Again, I assume this is the hotel. This doesn't look particularly fancy, but uh, it's an option for you. Nice to see some of the merchandise in the shop as well. I, I uh, <clears throat> took a look. Shirts range, 16 bucks, 18 bucks. It's euros, actually. Uh, you got this beautiful mountainside behind us here. I have so many things. Again, my luggage is so full. I'm like looking, but not really looking. Uh, just kind of browsing, because I'm here kind of thing. We'll find our way back out to our ship. We have a super pedestrian. The scooter's here, that's nice. We're pretty close to back, I don't think we need it. Nice to see. I'm gonna sneeze. Ready for food, ready for a nap. Don't drink too much. Don't drink too much Madeira wine. Don't let a guy tell you there's rosé, but no Madeira wine until the second woman tells you, yes, there's Madeira wine, because <laughs> it's Madeira. What are you doing? No Madeira wine. You got it. So get that Madeira wine. It's good. It's like port. Sweet. I love it. If you get it, medium sweet. That's uh, FYI, y'all. In case you didn't know, get it medium sweet. I like it. Got some, uh, all kinds of tasties here in Madeira. We'll make our way. Thanks, Madeira. It's been, it's been, it's been a blast. It always is. So overall, I'm happy with the day, happy with the excursion. Got me out nice and early, got me to see a bunch of stuff with the uh, excursions team and some other guests. And then I was able to go off on my own, do my cable car, do my shopping, do my uh, drinking, <laughs> and just enjoy a beautiful day and walk back to the ship. So overall, certainly a win, if you ask me. Madeira, always a winner, it really is, you know. It's maybe, it's got more of that Portugal feel, you know, maybe older, more classic. Maybe not necessarily as renovated or as much space as in the U.S., but always enjoy this place. Portugal, doing something right, so glad to do it. Now I'm going to eat some food for sure. And this is the walk back. You can see the Queen Victoria. I don't know what I called it before. Maybe you can see the Queen Victoria from the aft of the vessel, the booty. I would have called it, but design center up ahead as we head back to the port. This is it. I've never walked it before. So nice to experience. And here we are stepping back on board the Queen Victoria. Just kidding. MSC. MSC. Ahead of the Queen Victoria is our MSC vessel. Indeed. I spent a lot less, but it's also the difference between I did a balcony before, now I'm doing inside. But I'm perfectly happy and comfortable in it, so. Mostly, mostly. The, the uh, speakers in the hallway is still not my favorite for my sleep, but otherwise pretty good, I would say. All right, I have no idea what I was saying. Uh, stepping on board, much cheaper. Oh, the inside stateroom. Pretty happy with it overall. MSC, again, you get a variety of languages. Let's see if we can grab some lunch today. Back at the port. Oh, that's what I was gonna say. Not a terrible walk from the city to the port. You know, 30 minute walk or so. And I'm still a little tired from my Europe trip and all that, but this was pretty flat, especially compared to Lisbon too. So not bad, not bad, did not complain. I'm gonna relax, rest more on board and excited for tomorrow. Just saw a woman parking over here, right behind this little shop. And I just said driving on the sidewalk is something less American, you know, certainly feels more European to me. Uh, as we step back on board, thanks Portugal. I it really, there's a lot to enjoy about this place. Unique, different, but a lot of fun. What an amazing experience just to be able to do this cruise, share it with you, take this route back home, and a great deal, by the way, which occasionally happens for solo travelers. Um, stepping back on board, it's food time, it really is. But I'm just very appreciative. Ah, oh, perfect, thank you. All right, now seated on back on board for a super late lunch. I'm still calling it a super late lunch because I just filled that out. But because, um, it's before three, that's that's my limit here. And an hour and a half before uh, disembarkation, or before all aboard, last all aboard, so. Perfect timing, Let's grab a seat, enjoy some tasties. So glad I had a chance to come back, visit more of Funchal, Madeira. Certainly feel like I made it a full day. And uh, yeah, glad, glad I had a chance, so beautiful. Pretty sure I showed you the seat while I had my food and um, you know, came back inside, but I just love watching these sailboats out here. So I thought you might be interested in the changing waters while we enjoy similar looking mountains. But you know what? I think this is where the mountains set on us last time, sunset. It might be nice to watch too. So much to do, so much to see, even from on board. Beautiful Madeira.
Now, I'm chilling in the room. Unfortunately, my phone is low power. So I'm thinking maybe I'll change for the hot tub and sit in the water and watch the sail away while you charge, unfortunately. But it is what it is. And uh, we still got dinner and show coming up tonight, which is great. All right, we are back in clothes now, back in regular clothes. We have made it back to the room and we have changed into our dinner and showtime attire. We're gonna see dinner and a show. And we took a shower, it was clean and fresh. It's cello crossover concert tonight. I'm not working, so that's great. And we're gonna eat dinner and that's gonna be good. And then I'm gonna go to bed. So excited for Tenerife tomorrow, but let's go enjoy the evening. Entertainment all around the ship. So Changing the show time to only once, 7.45, instead of two shows, 7.30 and 9.30. Right Interesting. Signore e signori, buonasera. Speriamo stasera alcune informazioni riguardanti lo show di domani. I do think the theater was pretty busy the other night, so I don't know why they're reducing from two shows to one. Maybe nobody comes to the second one? But, uh, we'll see. <laughs> that woman has a serious question as she's following him up the stage. It'll be funny. say um yeah it was, was some basic um nice to nice to hear some some soft soothing sounds but um it was just an individual performer playing cello and some some interesting selection of songs you know maybe unique ones maybe some he'd written or something like that and i did like his story about wanting to be free and he was always told he had to get and join an orchestra he couldn't do his own thing with music and he really wanted to figure that out so he did uh, which is a nice story, but again, to me, the music was, was fine. I really enjoyed that singer the other night. Uh, I thought this guy was all right. So, um, nice to check it out. Gonna drop a few things in my room, and we'll make our way to dinner in just a moment. Take a look at the menu here. Mediterranean Nights, uh, fried calamari and shrimp Italian style. Sounds pretty good to me. Uh, we'll see in terms of proteins. You know, I always like my seafood, so maybe one of those two seafoods. A dessert, they've got the baklava. We got tiramisu. We'll see what sounds good. 
anyway. Uh, they've got the dinner doors closed uh, 10 minutes early here. It seems like maybe they don't want to save any early uh, this time around. But I also stopped by the uh, excursion desk. I spoke to the woman, I'm like, oh, is there a way for me to look up a solo traveler deal? She told me, you'll never find a price like this again, especially for the solo traveler thing. She's like, everything's solo traveler right now, the best you do is like 1.8 times, and there's no way to search it. So I got lucky, we'll see what happens in the future. Um, but that wasn't a very optimistic review for a solo traveling, solo cruising in the future, TBD. Um, but hopefully dinner soon. And now it's a bit cramped by people waiting for the doors to open for dinner, so some challenges to note uh, on that front it's very busy people like to share small spaces uh, so i'm just looking around i'm like oh what else is there to look at before dinner opens up in a few minutes i'm sure take a look here at the fried calamari it looks tasty we'll see how it is i think it's a, probably the solid appetizer to start with so cheers see how it goes take a look at that y'all omg that whole shrimp there he told me just break it apart and you'll, you'll get the good meat versus the bad be interesting to try we'll see how it goes and the calamari was nice i think one of the nicer uh, appetizers we've had so certainly excited for this shrimpy dish as well the seafood grill I'm surprised oh all right <laughs> So it looks like that one waiter is dancing over there. I wonder if they're making like a video out of it or something. Interesting. <laughs> All right, there we are. Found it. Dancing here by the staircase. There you go. You can see him a little better from here. Right, we have, I have the um, tiramisu and the baklava. My friend has the uh, pineapple and mint salad here. He was kind enough to bring back some pastel de nada. Thank you very much. Obrigado. And we shall see how it all is. Now, for the dinner review, the calamari was certainly the best part. Overall, I'd say dinner was not bad. Again, another fine meal. Another acceptable meal. Uh, again, my experiences with Divina, very different from Magnifica. Don't hate it, would totally cruise MSC again, um, but not as, as enjoyable for me as that other one was. So it's a few different things that we've seen throughout, but Calamari was, was nice, was good, I'd get that again. The other two were okay, were fine. It was definitely a nice show with the prawn, with the shrimp, um, but not as amazingly tasty as it looked. I'm gonna take this off while I'm talking to you. And then the desserts were both decent. Uh, baklava, I've had better. I'd probably get the tiramisu of the two, quite frankly, if you're looking for something a little lighter. Um, but nice, nice food and interesting dance show there from the uh, crew. Nice that they do something, I guess. Thanks so much for helping me make it an amazing day today. Don't forget to make your day an incredible day as well. And hit the thumbs up button because you know you liked it. Subscribe for more coming your way. And until next time, play on. Thank you.